Warren from Kaplan. Here we are today looking at the formwork, early stage of construction. We've got all our string lines set up to get everything precisely where it needs to be. Dumpy level set up there to get our heights right and we're forming up the outside perimeter of our slab. So we've got the concreters here on site. We've got an engineer's design to work to which is based on our soil test. It's telling us how many piers we need to put in how deep we need to go with these piers. You can see the boys now, they've got them all marked out. They're starting to drill down so they get to that nice solid clay surface that the engineer wants us to go down to. Making sure that all the piers, holes are clear and ready for concrete. The whole purpose of the piers is to create a, a platform for the floating slab to sit on. So we want to make sure that if there's any erosion around the slab, that it's going to sit on these piers and it's going to stay in place. So the number of piers is all based upon your soil classification, but in this one we're 1.8 spacings around the perimeter with piers the same throughout to create that solid platform for your floating slab to sit on. We're going around the outside of the perimeter. The machines now hit rock, so they're going down. As you'll see, it'll bounce there a bit won't be able to go any further, it's now on a solid platform. They'll clear it all out, get it ready to pour the concrete. Here we are, we've drilled right down to solid rock as you can see. All the pier holes are now cleared out. We just now get all the engineering inspections done. The engineer will come out, inspect the depth, make sure the hole's clear so there's no debris in it give us a pass and then we can pour the concrete in to get that platform ready for the slab. Here we are with the engineer going round inspecting all the piers of the right depth, making sure that we're on a solid surface, all the pier holes are cleared out, taking records of the depth of the piers, making sure all the piers are in the right location, counting up all the piers, making sure the depth is right, taking all the records of the depth, documentation for all the certification we need throughout construction. Everything gets videoed, making sure that everything's done as per the engineer design. Here we are at the final stage of peering. All our form works in place, piers have all been drilled in the right location, we're at the right depth, the important inspections have all been done by the engineer. Now we're just filling them up with concrete. So they'll go through and pump them all full of concrete, they'll level them off at the platform height and then we'll have our solid surface to put our floating slab on. Here we are now, all the piers have been dug out. We've filled them all up with concrete, got them all level, solid to the top, and these are the piers that are gonna pick up all our bonding beams throughout the house, which creates that floating slab structure and keeps everything nice and solid. <laughs> 